Tukiachana na hayo mtazamaji sasa tuelekee pia katika masuala ya kisiasa na taarifa inayofungamana na hiyo ambapo wabunge wa muungano wa azimio la umoja wa Kenya wakiongozwa na opio wa ndani na Juneti Mohamed wameza kukashifu rais William Ruto kufuatia madai ya mbunge wa FIFA ya Kub Sala eh, kuwa katiba ya Kenya ya mwaka 2010 na stahili kufanyiwa marekebisho ili kuweza kupeana nafasi ya kuweza kuondoa kipengele ambacho kinakubalia rais kuhudumu kwa muda wa miaka kumi na kuondoa muda huo ambao sasa rais anapaswa kushikilia hatma ya uongozi wa bunge wa upinzani katika bunge la kitaifa wakiongozwa na mbunge wa embakasi mashariki babo wino wameza kukashifu mkondo uliochukuliwa na waziri pia wa elimu mtazamaji Ezekiel Machongo kuhusu kwamba serikali ya kitaifa haifa kama haitafadhili shughuli za vyuo vikuu injini Owino mtazamaji na wenzake wakizungumza katika majengo ya bunge la kitaifa wameapa kuweza kushinikiza wanafunzi wa vyo vikuu njini kuweza kushiriki maandamano kipindi uh, kuweza kupinga, uh, kupinga mkondo wa waziri wa elimu njini. The way things Kenya Kwanza is doing now is not the way government operates. Because everyone, like some disgruntled militia, is giving roadside declaration anywhere and anyhow. But secondly... This issue of term limit, I want to advise UDA and Kenya Kwanza in general as, as, as an advice that it is too early to test the waters <laughs> with that kind of statement. Kenyans are suffering, there is drought, there is hunger, there, is, there are myriad of problems in our country, cost of living. We know ourselves as politicians. You send a, a small squirrel to test for you the waters, yes. whether there is maize in the granary. <laughs> we know, we know each other. That's what the, the young man was doing. Uh, when a dog barks, uh, you should go to the owner. This fluffy man definitely has the owners. And we want uh, the president uh, to come clear on this issue because it's a very, very serious issue. We, they cannot take us to those dark days of Moy and what Moy did to this country. So that man is just draconian. He should go back to Fafi and take care of his people who are dying. And uh, if anyone ever imagined that we can go back to dictatorship, they are, I think that they're dreaming. We have so many issues. This government promised so many things. 100 days are almost elapsing. Uh, but what we can see, everything is on the rising. Food prices, Fuel prices is so high. Is the problems which are facing Kenya, farming, anger, camels are dying in its place in plenty. That is what it should be addressing now. Uh, and therefore, <coughs> it's not timely. The timing is very wrong, and it should wait for the performance of the current president. We see how he performs before he can tell us, uh, let us extend his term. And therefore, as member of parliament for Mwingi Central, and a member of WIPA, and a member of uh, ASMIO family, we are not going to support that motion of extending the life of the president. It appears there is a president who wants to be a president <coughs> for life in Kenya. And I can say that the drafters of the constitution had something in mind. Why? That's why they put the term limit to be a two-term limit within the ambit of the law, as enshrined in the apex of the law, which is the Kenyan Constitution 2010. Therefore, this Constitution must never, should never, and will never be butchered nor changed. The other day the President talked of the Ukrainian war, but you should look for his clips when he was saying it's the handshake that, handshake that is uh, uh, destroying this country. So, for us, we want to urge this government to sit down, focus, and work. The issue of term limit, we said it before election, we will say it now, and we know it is coming. But we know how to deal with it, and we will deal with it at the right time. Not at this time, not hungry, when Kenya's bellies are full. That's the time to play that kind of football. So I'm telling this uh, Kenya Kwanza, don't add sufferings to sufferings. Kenyans are suffering enough, so don't add time limit. To return us to back days of Moi, I know there are very ma many Moi elements in this government. But to imagine that they can bring Moiism again, forget about it. I'm reminding Kenyans that if they make a mistake of allowing 
the Uda Brigade to take over the reins of power in this country. They will be allowing the country to take the Uganda direction. Because we knew all along uh, that uh, President Ruto uh, was envious of the record that has been set by his close friend uh, Yoweri Museveni across the borders. How can somebody say that they do not, they are thinking, they are even thinking of not funding our universities when the funding that is going to the universities is, is so menial, it's not even enough. Our lecturers cannot do research and a country is developed through research and, and, and innovation. So how can somebody, he had better put his men and women uh, in order. They should not just go yapping everywhere. Issues of wanting to say term limit, term limit and you have not worked. Or do you want to limit this term to if it's not for work? This era ended with, during Kanu time. But now, Kanu somehow has been revived through UDA and they are making roadside declaration. Yes. We are saying that we will continue piling pressure on them yes. and we will not accept the change of the constitution. The, the, the constitution has been changed. So moving around, trying to hoodwink and saying that we are ready to work with you. I, I hear some of them come from the greater side of Nyanza and in the lake. I want to take this platform and advise them. Nobody has said that they are not going to work with Ruto. Ruto is a president, and that is why we are holding him to account. The buck stops with him, and he had better hold the country together and make his men shut up. We are tired. We are tired of very many words, and what we want is work, work, and work. No wonder he's moving in regions buying people, buying MPs so that he can push this amendment through parliamentary initiative. We are telling him, we are watching you, and we will not allow you to amend the constitution. Thank you very much, members of the press. We are here as members of parliament to talk about the issue of uh, varsity fee increment, or rather the statement that was issued by the, the current CS education, stating that uh, the government will no longer fund universities and that universities should find a way to fund themselves. Be that as it may, we also advise Kenyan taxpayers not to pay taxes until the government finds an alternative way of sourcing for the funds. And increasing university fees is tantamount to a felony because the university students come from various backgrounds, majority of whom come from very poor backgrounds, and having been at the university and a student leader, I know the pain that these comrades are going through. The help that is being given at the moment is not even sufficient to fund the fees at the universities, to fund education at the universities, because the help that is being given is at a maximum of around 40 to 50,000 of which 30,000 goes to fees, then another 8,000 goes to accommodation, there is food to be procured, there are uh, reading materials to be procured too. So these students literally have nothing left. And any attempt to increase these varsity fees will be met with equal force. And I will personally be at the forefront to mobilize university students across the nation to organize for serious demonstrations that will go to state house. Every state lodge, every state house in this country will be visited by those comrades. And we ask the president to cook for these comrades because they will come visit you. We don't want jokes. We've given you your time. We accepted the results even though we didn't agree with them. But right now it's your time to work. I remember you said very well that university fees will be free. I remember very well, and you said that help will be a grant. What has happened all of a sudden? In these developed countries, university is free of charge. And we expect this government to treat education with a lot of respect, to treat our students with a lot of respect, and ensure that help is a grant, and ensure that university 
students are not paying varsity fees. Thank you very much, but just know that we are going to come with serious action should there be this attempt. Thank you.